As you may or may not know, there's a new trend emerging in modern house music. I call it color house, you may call it something else, but in essence it's producers creating innovative sounds through borrowing sound design from color bass. Now color bass is a fairly new genre, it's a dubstep genre where the sound design is focused on harmonizing sounds that are traditionally less harmonic. Let me show you. <laughs> So that is color bass. Dubstep, 150 BPM, very heavy. Now what if we wanted that exact same sound design, but in a house context? So 126 BPM, that would be color house. Now recently there have been a few house artists that have been trying to push their boundaries in terms of sound design, me included obviously, but let's be honest, most artists that can make this type of stuff are dubstep producers, not house producers. So naturally the characteristics that differentiate between a normal house track and a color house track they had to be stretched a little bit, just so that there's more tracks that fit into the genre from the get-go. Let's look at the main Color House playlist, Colorful House, and let's dissect a few tracks and see what makes them colorful. Alright, so in this playlist we have a bunch of tracks, I think it's 92 songs in total. There's obviously a bunch of really nice tracks that are not Colorful House, but I want to start off by talking about this AU5 remix, because I think this is peak level Color House. <laughs> In this remix especially, I think the main components are obviously the big chords and the really like nice chords. The chords work, they're good, they're big saw chords, but all the textures in between, all those little glitches, that stuff, and it's all harmonized to the chords and it's all really nicely put together. And it's definitely boring from, you know, color bass, dubstep. Now in Colors, which is my own track, there's a lot of convolution reverb happening, a lot of little glitches and stabs, everything is very harmonized and cordified, if you can call it that. And I think that's one of the biggest characteristics of Color House, is all of those elements that are emphasizing the chords and harmonizing everything together. Alright, next one by Kirby, Losing Sleep. <laughs> Now, to be fair, Losing Sleep by Kirby is not really Color House. It just fits the entire vibe of the playlist. I mean, the sound design is insane, but it's not really borrowing from color bass. It's not very dubstep -y. it's still very future housey. It's just in there because it's good. Here we have Luch with Overthink. Now, in this track, listen to all the little details on the delays and the plucks. I think this is also a really great trait of Color House. Marimbas, bells, sounds, and everything with a lot of delays and little glitch effects. <laughs> All the little details and the sound design to me is colorful. It sounds new and unique and creative, which is the main part of Color House. All right, let's talk about the Won't Let You Go remix from El Ganto. This one I posted on my story. I was like, look at this. The winner of the remix competition is Color House. And everyone's like, oh, this is not Color House. This is why I'm making this video. Now listen to the drop. There's one part in there, which to me clearly classifies it as Color House. It's sound design focused, it's harmonic, and it just ties everything together super nicely. Oh, no. So there it is, the arps, the strings, all of those things, the blah 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 blah. Now to me it's a little bit too much tech house for it to be like super color house, and I think color house can go a little bit more towards the electro side of things, but this is just great, and I love that there's unique sound design happening out there, so big shout out to El Ganto for this, and you know, props for winning the competition, I think it's very much deserved. Alright, next track is called Shake It from Nuss B. Now, Nuss B makes Retro Future, as he calls it himself, and Retro Future is very close in terms of sound design to Pastel House and especially Color House, because a lot of the sound design is very unique and new and also harmonic. That's why it's in here. It's Retro Future with a little bit of Color House. Check it out. So all of these little chord stabs, they go whip, up, ooh, the choirs, all the samples. I think the way he's sampling things makes it very nice and soft and beautiful. The way it's all put together with all the little effects and glitches, to me, sounds very colorful. All right, let's talk about this. Retrovision, feel it. Let's listen to it first. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is really good future house. I don't think it's colorful house at all, but it's unique and it's harmonic and it's beautiful. And uh, while it's not color house, I think it fits in very nicely with the playlist. So that's why it's in there. All right, here's another example, which is not really color house, but it's still in the playlist because I love it and it's harmonic and it's beautiful and tells a story. And it's also more unique than a lot of other future house tracks. So here it is, six in your name. Also, it's such a big take back to the old Tobu vibes. The Jet from Exit and Zania. This one, for me, one of the greatest color house tracks so far. Just listen to the sound design on this. It's just otherworldly. So I think this is really great as an example because it takes a lot of dissonant sounds, bass growls and all of that, and it puts it in a harmonic context. It's not a bass house track. I mean, it is a bass house track, but it also comes with a lot of melodic elements. And I think that combination especially is, to me, Color House. All right, so here we have I'm Fine, Imano Remix, also a sick track. It's brand new in the playlist. Again, normal future house, normal house, but all the little effects, glitches, risers, textures, it's just ah, beautiful. So it's not just future house, it's beyond. Sound design is better. So is it Color House? I don't know, but is it just normal future? We got Universe from Jingbi. Check this out. Now that sound design is absolutely otherworldly and all the textures and that vocoder effect on the voice, it's innovation through sound design, which is perfect and it's colorful because it's melodic and harmonic and it plays on the chord and textures and water. Beautiful color house track. All right, next track is called Take Me Up. I can't say that artist name, I'm sorry. But this one especially is a good example of how the top lead is like a mix between synths and vocals or something. Just on a basic tech house arrangement can really make something super colorful and unique and stand out. Now, if you want to dive deeper into Color House and all these tracks, feel free to check out the playlist Colorful House. Link will be down below. There is over 90 tracks, beautiful tracks. Not all are Color House, but I think it's going to give you a nice understanding of the genre. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I could clear up a few things about Color House. And if you still have any questions, feel free to join our Discord, where I'll be happy to answer any remaining questions that you have. Please take a second to check out these two videos, which YouTube thinks you will want to watch next. Bye-bye. <laughs>